All right, we're putting the carburetor back together now. <clears throat> just a little cleaning. It wasn't dirty. Like I said, it ran fine. It was just leaking everywhere. And on this style, it's an aluminum needle. With a spring attached to it. Camera doesn't pick it up so great. But you can see the spring, it's not actually a spring, it's just a little clip. It has to, the needle has to rest on the top of the brass. And the clip has to go underneath the top plate there, the brass plate. So that when it goes in, it'll slide in. That's what, when the ball comes down, it pulls the needle down with it. And then we're just going to put it back together and start working on the pull start again. All right, well, I cheated a little bit. I ended up taking the three bolts out around the outside of the main real cool housing itself because it's the comps in the sun bolts from the blower housing. I was able to just take those, you know, the three bolts going out across and pulling the cover up and propping it just to get it out of the way. And I was able to get access to all the bolts. So, and it doesn't look like the spring is broken because it's, pulling itself back up it just feels like it's binding or something so I'm gonna try to I don't know I might just take the rope out and rewind it and retension it and lube it up a little bit see what see what's going on alright blower housing's back on pull starters back in I think the pull starter itself is a little worn It grabs. Sometimes it takes a little longer. If sure wants to start using it again, probably sat for so long it's still a little stiff. So the pull starter does work though. So that's it. We're gonna put it together. Actually, I'm probably just gonna put a little bit of gas in it and uh, see if there's any leaks and see if she'll start. And then that's where we'll go from there. All right, so I filled it up with gas, <clears throat> and it's uh, the hose was leaking. The fuel line was so hard; um, it was leaking around the seam. Let's see, it's just gone. So fuel line is not supposed to sound like that when you drop it. So I guess a black rubber. You know, the insulated fuel line, we're going to hook it up. And I also got a smaller fuel filter. So we're going to put all that in. And then uh, fill it with gas and fire it up. Alright. On the fuel line secured. Smaller inline fuel filter. That other one was a monster. And, um... It's all nice and done up now. Let's pour some gas in. See what happens. We got it going now. I just had to prime it. There we go. Full, full choke on. Shut her down. I don't want to smoke out the downstairs here. Sounds good. No leaks. I think we have a winner. I'm about to <clears throat> finish putting it together and take her outside. Alright, got her outside. Let's, uh, let's see what happens here. <clears throat> 